Well, just because you start out rough, that's not going to make me forget who I am, who we are as a team. Um, that simply happened. It was like, okay, cool. Now we just go back, and now you just got to go back and play and make sure that's not the reason why we lost the game. So uh, after that pick, then we was able to realize, like, okay, cool. They're taking stuff that Baylor did. They're taking stuff that other teams in the past that we played, and they're implementing into their own thing. So that's all it was. Just in the beginning of the game, we just got to, um, I personally got to just go through basics, get to do all the reads, and just don't pass up the first read on it. And then that's it. Until I got a good hang of what they're doing. Hey, Josh Bellamy, I'm Matthew. Hey, Shador. Um, with the upbringing you had in Prime, Coach Prime being your, your dad, like, what motivates you to make a name for yourself? I mean, I'm just not his son, you know? Like, I'm. I'm going into my own man, but I, I appreciate you know that Pops gave me a platform for me to display my abilities. You know, that's all you could ask for as a dad is always just to be there and, you know, just have support and everything like that. But um, he set the stage, he did everything he was supposed to do. Now it's time for me to walk on my own path, walk on my own journey. And that's what you see game in and game out. Uh, every game is. It's legendary. That's right. That's right. I saw, That's right. I saw you before the game. Myself and Cam Newton watched you. Cam was down here running at you. Mm -hmm. And I saw uh, an attention to detail, a uh, focus uh, that I haven't seen in a very long time in any teammate and any athlete. Um, where do you get that? What is that? Where do you get that from? No one to get all this stuff going on. All these stars and celebrities coming at you. How do you stay focused like that? Uh, remembering that you was just an HBCU kid that couldn't do it on the power five level. That's really what it was. That's I don't I don't forget anything. I don't forget what anybody ever said. And personally, I'm not one to, you know, make friends or, or, or feel like just because success is going on now I'm gonna forgive everybody. Like nah, whatever you said at any point in time, um, I'm not really a forgiving type. So that, that that's how I am. Dad's older, so you know. He, he's more of, um, you know, he's more forgiving, and he always tell me be a little bit that way. But oh, I just, so there was smoke between Cam, uh, Cam said. Nah, I wasn't oh. talking. About, I'm talking about overall. Like with the question you asked, that's that's overall. Like how I'm so laser focused and all the distractions and everything. It's just I just don't pay attention to really the cameras and everything because all that stuff there. But I always remember I was just an HBCU kid that couldn't do it at a power five level. Salute. Go ahead. Cameron, last year defense was a huge point of discussion for the whole team, and now this year you guys come out with one of the best second half defenses in the entire league. But then today was really complete game defensively. Can you speak a bit on what you guys have been doing this season? Um, his name is Coach Rob Livingston. Uh, the way he coaches, the scheme that he sets up for us, um, it's a scheme that all of us love to play, and he played to all of our strengths. Um, like I said, I said before when we came, when he came in, he came in with no playbook. He said, "What do y'all do well? We're gonna we're gonna work around that." So it's all, it's all, I give Coach Rob lips and all the credit. I mean, the players, we go out and execute and um, play our heart out for them every day, but I give um, Coach Rob all the credit for it. Jake, go ahead. Cam, just another one for you. Uh, can you talk us through the, the scoop and score and then just the level that you're putting in right now? Well, um, really, really, um, we was playing a lot of two. We was playing a lot of two, so I knew I, eventually I was going to get me one. I'm just sitting back there waiting on a chance to give me one. And then it was being a fumble, and it popped out. And when I... Um, all I was thinking about when I was running, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm running these five. Guess it's come back Monday. <laughs> but I already knew I was going to was gonna give, me, give me a flag. I mean, uh, I was, knew I was going to get it. So when I did all, I took my head off. I knew it was coming. And I came to Coach Prime, and I was like, man, I'm going to run them. I'm going to run them. Don't worry about it. I'll run them. <laughs> so that's all I was thinking about. I mean, it's just, uh, it's just, it ain't just me, man. It's the whole team. I mean, uh, 
the whole D line, linebackers, I mean, they make it extremely easy for us on the back end to play, play fast and fly around to make plays. So uh, it's a, it's a, that play was for like the whole team. Can't drown a shark. Can't drown a shark, man. Second longest fumble return of CU history. Go ahead, man. Oh, I made some history today. I feel like <laughs> you, boy. <laughs> Uh, just kind of for all you guys, especially especially you two since you've been here for two years now, did that Shador feel like the most complete win since you got to Colorado? Well, you start. I mean, if y'all know where I came from, Vanderbilt. <laughs> That's the most complete win I've had. <laughs> <laughs> so what does it say about the team that you could you could kind of muster that in the, the the direction you're trending? I mean, if you look at every game, it's just gotten better and better on both sides of the ball, special teams. Uh, offense, defense, so I think we're turning in the right direction. Go ahead. What, what was the question again? Oh, the most complete win. win. Yeah, I was just going to say, did this feel like the most complete win since you've been at CU? Yeah, for sure. I feel like we both we both uh, had each other's back when we both needed it the most. And basically, I threw a pick, he threw a pick, so now the game starts over. You know, <laughs> so that's, that's basically what the message Like, hey, the game just started over, you know. We both got our you know, stuff out of the way, but um, the way how the defense was playing was amazing. The way how offensively uh, we was able to mix the run in a lot with the pass and made everything way easier. The way our coach Sherman called everything it was pretty good. So yeah, we, we're just happy going into the bye week. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, we came out at um, came out and adversity hit us fast, and um, nobody flinched. So I think it was training in the right direction. Um, everybody, everybody's a body in. Everybody body, you can tell. I mean. We don't we don't point fingers like um, we pick each other up. They came out and scored on us. He came right back and scored. So that's just uh, the way we're playing right now. It's, it definitely been the most complete win I feel like since we're in. It's just the beginning. A couple more, go ahead. Uh, yeah, what does this kind of follow up on his question? What does this complete win do for you guys heading into a bye week and then going back home against the ranked opponent? I think it just instills confidence. Uh, the confidence that you know we can do it and everything that we've been working on from. With them from the spring, with me from the summer, uh, it's falling into place. And I think we're excited to get to work this week and then face Kansas State this week. The okay, last one, go ahead, Ronnie. Uh, Will, for you getting in the end zone by the way, going on the last week, the, the almost Hail Mary, and then it coming, how the performance you had today? First of all, what was that like for you? And Shador, what was that like for you to help elevate Will up to what he did today? I mean, I think everybody saw what happened, and luckily we had LeJounte come save the day. Um, I tried to not get too down on myself after that and just know who I am and why I'm here and why I came here, and I think today uh, proved that and showed that, and him having that confidence to keep coming and keep throwing the ball to me and taking those chances knowing that I'm going to come down with it in moments like that just instills more confidence in me. I told him, I said, hey, bro, this the week, bro. <laughs> I said, hey, this the week, bro. Like, you got you to gotta do it this week. So we had those conversations often. I'm like, bro, like, don't worry about all that. You know, you just had a slow start. Like, don't get down about it. You know, that, that happens to everybody. But because I know the type of player he is, I know when he's feeling himself and when he's actually in his groove and when he's comfortable, then nobody can stop him because he's going against the best corner in practice every day, Travis Hunter. So... That that's really was the message to him all week. Like this, this your game, this your week, you know. And the opportunity came, and I'm like, hey, this is it. Will you? Hey, you gotta catch this one. So then he made a play, and then I was just, I was just excited. It was right, good thanks, for the team. Appreciate you guys. That's it, y'all.